In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics of um, a post-process chain, which can use material effects. And then later on, in a second part of the tutorial, I'll show you how to make a, an effect similar to this one here. Alright, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you just very quickly how to make a post-processing chain and how to apply it. So, let's click on New, and we want post-process chain right there. Let's put it in a uh, PP tutorial. All right. All right. So here's our post process chain, and there's nothing in it right now. What you need to do is right click, and then here are the different types of effects you can add. So let's go ahead and add ambient occlusion. And yeah, uh, you can see there's some other really neat stuff. Let's try motion blur. And then let's do a uh, material effect. Alright. Now let's quickly make a material. And then... We're going to make a post-process material real quick. And I'm just going to make something super simple here so you can see what we're doing. We want a scene texture material. Plug that into emissive. Switch blend mode to translucent. And lighting mode to unlit. And basically, this node, scene texture sample, is basically what you see on the screen. And that's it. So right now, what we should get is first it renders the scene then it's going to add ambient occlusion and then motion blur and then do our material effect which at this point um, doesn't really do anything alright and you want to go ahead and select your material effect select your post -processing, processing material and just apply that using the green arrow so what you want to do is open up a map and if there's a specific map you want to try this on then go ahead and open up your map I'm just using a DM deck and go to view world properties and then right here under world info world post process chain so click on your post process chain and then click the little green arrow oh and it looks like uh, I've got to take um, motion blur out that's fine though I just, I'm just gonna show you a quick example here alright and Ta-da! And that's all you need to do. We already have it in place now, and it's working. So, I know it doesn't look real different right now because there's nothing applied, but if we go in, if you click this little uh, gray box, that gets rid of the post-processing chain, clears it out, and you can see what a difference it made. Because if there's nothing in here, it uses the default UT post-processing. And that's it for this quick tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to make an actual effect, uh, just a simple effect, so that you can uh, see for an example of what type of things you can do with it.